machine is a magical ATM that will magically give you money. Ah! Bobby Longlegs is living inside of Bunzo Bunny's head. Family, the other day I had a box of five chicken nuggets. I left them on the table, walked away to go potty. And then when I got back to my box of chicken nuggets, there was only three. So I said, Mom, did you steal my other two chicken nuggies? And she walked up to me and said, I don't and it was kind of weird, family, because she kind of smelled like nuggies. And she also had a small piece of chicken on her lip. Hmm. So if I had five chicken nuggies and then my mom comes in the room and then there's only three, I think that can only mean one thing. Clearly, my mom... knows magic! My mom's a magician! She magically made two chicken nuggies disappear out of thin air. And then her tummy started grumbling a lot and she told me that she wanted to eat more chicken nuggets. And I mean chicken nuggets only because she didn't have any before. Wait, what? I'm confused. Today, family, we are looking at the craziest Poppy Playtime magic tricks ever. If you want to get magic powers yourself, smash like on today's video. Let's get this video to 20,000 likes. I know we can do it. Because I heard if you smash like, something is going to magically appear inside of your room tonight. Whoa! Look down at the bottom of the screen. Do you see a red subscribe button? If you do, smash it as hard as you can. And then, boom, magic. You're in the family of chicken nuggets. All right, family, for our very first magic trick, we got Bunzo the bunny. Oh, he's so cute. But all I see is a picture of a bunny on a paper. I don't see no magic. He's ripping the picture of Bunzo. No. It was so pretty. Oh, and now he's crumbling it up. How rude. Wait, wait a second. Uh, what just happened? The paper was all ripped and crumbled up. And then somehow, boom! Picture back in perfect condition. And Bunzo Bunny not oofed anymore. That is crazy. Let's see how he did it. Family, comment down below magic playtime as the secret word of today's video. And I'll heart your comments. Here we got a blank piece of paper. And it looks like we're drawing Bunzo the Bunny. <laughs> With his little two bunny teeth. And his big floppy bunny ears. Y'all ever think that bunnies can hear a lot better than us because their ears are so big? I'm very curious. Wait, now he's drawing another picture of Bunzo Bunny. There are two Bunzo Bunnies on the screen. Oh, there he goes crumpling up the paper again. But he's taping it to the back of the sheet of the other Bunzo paper? Oh, and now he's ripping it again. Oh, man. Why do you hate Bobby Playtime? Look, it's crumbling. Oh, wait a second, family. It's all an optimal illusion. An optical illusion. He actually rips one of the papers and crumbles it up. But then he flips the paper and uncrumples the other paper that was never ripped at all. It's like when you steal your brother's last piece of pepperoni pizza, but then you just replace it with a piece of Hawaiian pizza instead. Like a backup. Except you're probably gonna have to back away from your brother after that because... Ain't nobody like Hawaiian pizza? He gonna be pissed. It's PJ Paga Pillar! And he turned into an ATM machine? Huh? I'm so confused, family. What is going on here? Okay, we got a card and we're putting it in PJ's mouth and... <gasps> what? Some money magically came out! No way! This machine is a magical ATM that will magically give you money! But how did PJ magically make money just like that? You can't do that! Everybody knows that the only way to get money is to go ask your parents for it! I say, Dad, please give me some more money for some lollipops! All I have are the strawberry flavors left, and you know I hate those! Like, seriously, what a girl gotta do for some raspberry flavored ones? Times be getting rough. We got some cardboard that our friend is gluing together into a box. We got that box glued inside of another box with more cardboard on top. Dude, where are they finding all of this cardboard? More cardboard again? Oh, jeez. And a lot of mathematical numbers that I'm, I don't really want to think about. Math kind of scares me. And now I think they're drawing PJ. Oh, yeah, that's definitely PJ. We're coloring him in purple and pink. Two of my favorite colors. And even blue and red, too. Okay, now we just glued on PJ's head on top of the ATM box. 
you are making our credit card. Oh, no way. So the secret money is hidden inside of the ATM box. And then when you put in your magical credit card, it steals the money out for you. And you get paid. Yeah, if only life were that easy. Like, seriously, where's my raspberry lollipops? Hmm. Our next magic trick is with mommy long legs. <laughs> That's kind of a silly photo of her. It's funny. Okay, we're putting the picture of mommy long legs inside of this weird magical machine. And, uh, oh, no, mommy long legs. Mommy long legs is getting squished from the magical machine. She just got oofed. But wait a second, how did they do that? Okay, we got a lot of different cardboard pieces. And we're gluing them together. Making holes in the cardboard with some sharp pencils. Oh man, family, that sounds dangerous. Okay, the pencils go through the cardboard. And we're taping some paper around a pencil. Oh, and now I think this is the part where we start drawing mommy long legs. Mm-hmm. That's definitely gonna be Bobby Long Legs. I mean, come on, look at the fear in her eyes. You don't get that unless you're an evil pink spider. I would know. Oh, my favorite part! We get to color in Mommy Long Legs! But why does she look so red? Mommy Long Legs is not red, she's pink. She's not raspberry, she's strawberry. You know what I mean? Oh, and now they're drawing in the other thing all red, too. That kind of looks like somebody threw a tomato at the ground and then it went everywhere. They're putting the smushed up tomato inside the magical machine. Oh, mommy long legs looks like she's getting smushed because when her paper goes in, the smushed mommy long leg picture comes out. Bye bye, mommy long legs. It was about time you got stuck in somebody else's web. I'm getting oofed. Mm, I didn't say that. Okay, this one just looks like a picture of four different huggy wuggies. But they're not even colored in, so what's the point? <gasps> what have I just seen with my eyes? They were white, and now they have color. And now they're white again, and now they have color. Family, I don't know if my eyes are broken. Because I think I'm seeing things. This one is seriously blowing my mind. I have no idea how they did it. All I see here is we're cutting up two different sheets of paper. Oh, and they just made a giant hole in one of them. Okay. And now they filled the hole with another sheet of paper the same color. Man, these magicians do be weird. Oh, we get to draw the huggy wuggies. They look so cute. Blueberry icing. Strawberry icing. Orange icing. And, uh... Green icing, uh, lettuce icing, no, no, kiwi icing. <laughs> okay, now we're taped those Huggy Wuggies onto a sheet of paper, cutting out a clear piece of plastic to put over top. He's drawing over top of the picture that he already drew, except this time he's drawing on the plastic. I don't know if I get this one yet. Wait, okay, 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 I think I do. He drew the outlines of the Huggy Wuggy on the plastic sheet that's on top, but then underneath the plastic, sheet he put a blank white paper so that's why it looks like the black and white huggies but then he has the original picture that he drew the colorful huggy huggies and when he pulls it out of the folder it looks like they're transforming from black and white to rainbow dude that one got me good and also made me kind of hungry for some skittles Okay, here we got a box that looks kind of evil. Looks like there's somebody's head on there, but it's a skeleton. So that means they're ew. That is not good. What do you think, family? Should we open the super secret mystery box? Because I heard if we open it, bad things might happen. No, oh, man. Fine, fine. We're just going to do it. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh. <laughs> it's just player. Player's not evil. It's just a scaredy cat. Like, seriously, bro, calm down. But how did player magically appear out of that evil mystery box? I don't know. Let's investigate. Okay, we got a lot of numbers. Oh, and scissors. They chopped up those papers real quick. Oh my gosh, look at all the measurements. And all of the folding. Are you sure they're about to make player or a paper looking worm? Oh, oh, those are matches. And those are used to 
Make fire! So do not use those at home, family, without your parents' supervision. Okay, we're putting glue over top the paper worm. And we're putting the paper worm inside of the cardboard box. Now we're drawing Scaredy Cat. Or, I mean player okay now cut up player it goes inside of the box and i think they just squished him down so he would fit oh now we're drawing the spooky part of the outside and if i saw a box like that i would never touch it i don't know family that thing might be cursed and now when you open up the box boom player springs out like a chicken and almost looks like he's about to attack you but i wouldn't be too worried about that family i already know if it's you against him y'all would take him down easy okay we got a red paper and we're putting a picture of huggy wuggy inside that's normal right i think wait a second what are they doing with those scissors <gasps> no he's cutting huggy wait a sec huggy wuggy didn't get chomped at all he's still all in one piece no cuts but how did huggy wuggy survive the wrath of the scissors did some magic just go on here or is huggy wuggy indestructible well i don't know let's find out okay we are drawing some eyes and who do you think they can be oh we got really sharp pointy teeth and a big fluffy head okay that has to be huggy oh yeah yeah that's definitely huggy he's kind of cute when he's not trying to oof people and he looks kind of tasty when they color him in like a blueberry maybe we can make them into blueberry pie next okay we got the full huggy wuggy drawn and now we are doing some secret magical measurements okay we cut a red piece of paper and now we're folding it and cutting it oh cutting makes me nervous wait they cut a hole in the back of the paper so when they put huggy wuggy inside there's actually a hole in the back when they were cutting the paper they were never cutting huggy wuggy at all it was all fake family we've been lied to scammed taken advantage of and now i'm sad but at least huggy wuggy's okay though now he has more opportunities to us white piece of paper big big scissors a little bit of cutting and folding and now a big black marker what are we drawing i'm not too sure ah, but whatever it is it looks so cute i just want to hold it and cuddle it and squeeze it wait that looks like somebody that i recognize somebody with a birthday hat on and big bunny ears Maybe it's a bunny. Maybe. Since we're talking about Poppy Playtime, it's Mommy Longlegs the spider. Oh, nope. She's not a bunny. What bunny do we know from Poppy Playtime Chapter 2? Oh, my gosh. Of course, family. It's Bunzo the bunny. Duh, Alexia. How you forget that? Sorry. Sometimes my brain doesn't work. Ooh. They drew Bunzo on the two halves of the folded paper. And now when they folded it open, there's no picture in the middle. Wait. Now they're drawing something in the middle. And that does not look like the second half of Bunzo's head. And they're doing it to the other side of Bunzo's head, too. Oh, both of the things are attached together. And it kind of looks a little slimy. Ah, and there's also a face on it. Oh my gosh. What the chicken nugget is that? It does not look nice. But it is pink though. So I kind of like it a little better now. Something is growing on the inside of Bunzo Bunny's head. And that does not look fun. Okay, let's see the final reveal. It's regular Bunzo. Ah, it's Mommy Long Legs. Mommy Long get there oh, right family come on now it's magic okay now i think it's pretty cool this person has a magical paper flashlight and is shining it all over an evil huggy wuggy how are they doing that we all know that paper doesn't make light all it does is make paper cuts I'm like seriously they hurt Urgh, paper <laughs> No, not again. Let's see how they made this magical paper flashlight and how they uncovered the secret magical huggy wuggy. I personally wouldn't call anything that tries to oof people magical, but let's see it anyways. Okay, we got a black piece of paper. Now we got a plastic piece of paper and we're coloring on the plastic. And I think they're coloring in huggy wuggy or just making him black and white. The same color of his soul. Oh, 
here he is. He's looking more and more like Huggy Wuggy by the second. We got the red mouth. The yellow icky teeth. Ugh. The blue fluffy fur. Now they're putting that picture over top of the black paper. And on to drawing the paper flashlight. I still don't understand how a paper flashlight is going to act as a real flashlight. That is super magical if you ask me. Okay, I still don't get what's going on here. Think, Alexia, think. Wait a second. I think this magic trick is really similar to the other magic trick we saw. Since the picture was colored in on a plastic sheet, that means if you put the white paper underneath it, aka the white paper flashlight, then it will look like the picture is lit up. Like a bright sunshine on a sunny day. Except I wouldn't call evil Huggy Wuggy bright or sunny. He's more like evil and terrifying. But that's none of my business. Ooh. Family, if you like the magic tricks today, smash like and smash subscribe. Don't forget to turn on all post notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram right down here. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.